Hello there. Welcome to the Pit of Tangents. We're going to start a new adventure with Outer Wilds. I'm really excited about this game. Uh, I've heard a lot of good things about this game. It has great visuals. It is story rich. Um, I honestly have no idea about this game. I've never watched any playthrough of it. I know that this game came out like a couple of years ago, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm excited to experience this for the first time. And I'm also excited for the fact that this is going to be another long series. I haven't done this in a while, unless you count. I guess Resident Evil like 7 to 8 to DLC as a long series but yeah uh I heard that this is going to be like a 30 hour game so you can expect like I guess 25 videos at least count um assuming that I have to cut a lot of things but we'll find out so let's get right to it Wow, that is quite an intro. Um, I couldn't help but notice the the warning sounds at the end of the music just now. The music slaps, by the way. Uh, but yeah, that sounds like a warning. I don't know. Is that how the story going to start? I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, let us begin with a new expedition. Let's go. Oh, it's loading. Okay, sure. <laughs> I need to turn up the brightness. Wake up! All right. Uh, X. Okay, that's a loud breath. Hello. Is that an oil rig? Wait, are we moving? Oh, okay, we can look around. Oh, we're looking up. Well, hello. Who might you be? Got six eyes and all that. Huh, it's not inverted. Hang on. As always. <laughs> um, there you go. Apparently, it's an old gamer thing. Where, like... When, when you, like, you point down to go out, look up, and up to look down. That's an indication that you're an old gamer. I have no idea. Ooh, let's jump. Cool. Alright, we are in, in a planet with low gravity, as it would seem. Let's talk. Hello, sir, pilot. Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. It's, um, is a tentative sound, okay? Uh, we'll see how often we will interact with this person. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program. And suddenly, here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. All systems go, wait. Oh no, camera on, please don't lag again. It, it takes a while to boot up, I guess. I don't, I don't know. You're sure you fixed the retro rockets? There was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that. <laughs> but hey, <laughs> no reason to dwell in the past, right? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfels at the observatory before you can... Music! A very nice one at that. Okay, I'm loving this game already. <laughs> Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Okay, Hornfels at the observatory. Is that the ship? Why is there a hurricane happening in the background? You see that, right? Okay, I, 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 I'm in love. Oh, jump. Holy shit. 
Wow. Ah. <laughs> oh, hi. Are you Hornfell by any chance? Or you're Mika? Or Mika? Hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Um... I want to practice with the pro before I leave, okay? Aw, you're just saying that. But if you really want to practice with me, I guess I could help you out a little. Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you've got. Uh, how does one do that? Is it with this? In the geyser. Oh, that was a geyser just now. Okay. So, horizontal thrust and down and up thrust. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Whoa, oh, 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 my God. <laughs> um, uh, steady as he goes. Steady. Okay. What now? Oh, that's the... Oh, okay, okay. I got the buttons wrong. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Then... Okay, that's to go back. This is to go forward. Oh, up, 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 up. Ah! Uh... Excuse me. Reset, please. <laughs> so, oh, oh, okay. So that's, ah. So I can do it in any direction that I want. Let's go. Oh shit. Oh shit. No. <laughs> uh. We're gonna have a bit of a problem now, aren't we? Uh... Yeah, this is gonna be a bit of a problem. Let me try. Cut to the point that I actually nail it, okay? Okay, okay. Steady as she goes. Steady. Steady. There you go. That's the goal, right? Okay, I'm just gonna I'm I'm just gonna leave. So uh that's fine, right? That was just like the time the external fuel tank exploded on re-entry. <laughs> so I don't think that's good. You'll You'll be okay flying the big one, right? <laughs> Suppose we'll see, eh, Micah? See you around. Cheerio. Okay. Are there going to be reoccurring characters? I wonder. Hi. And who might you be? Porphyry. So we got Porphyry, Micah, and that other guy. I don't know. Forgot their name. Ew! I'm a hatchling. Okay. Ew, a hatchling? Here are leaving us to seek adventures among the stars. Hang on. Wait for the glacier sound. Okay. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventures amongst the stars. When you return, Let's you, me, and Kusan open a bottle of the good stuff. The good stuff, eh? I'm only taking adventure amongst one star, actually. Other stars are too far anyway. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive chocolate. An iron stomach is the mark of a true Harthian, my friend. Our hardy hunter-gatherer lifestyle stems from trial and error. By which I mean our ancestors survive eating a lot of bad things. Yeah, true. <laughs> See you around, Parfi. And... Who are you? Your roots are. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often anymore. <laughs> All right, now, was between the space program and Micah's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. Hey, what can I do for you? Do you really worry that the space program will burn the village down? <laughs> Only constantly. You learn to live with it. You also learn to sleep with a bucket of water next to your bed. Just in case. For what? To puke? 
No, to, to wash yourself? To pee? Well, it's a bucket of water, though. Okay, what is this, then? Read. This pilot seat used by pioneering astro astronaut Feldspar is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. That doesn't sound good. The only thing that's left? <laughs> Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Harthian history. Oh, the music, man. The hell? Okay. I love this already. Okay, we, we need to go to the observatory, right? Okay, let's keep going, I suppose. Who are you? Marl. Shit, what voice should I give you? So, it's launch day, huh? Hall's going, Hal's going to miss you. Hal's going to miss you. Speaking of a launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform of those ships launched from is getting old. Is it about time you build a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out a space program. Just say the word. A nice try. We all know you have enough for that tree. Okay. Oh, it's getting dark. The launch pad is flammable? Huh. You didn't realize that? Don't worry. It's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours. Probably. Okay, what's the interact button? Hang on. Oh, I need the controls again. Confirm A, primary interact, secondary interact. Okay, so there's primary and secondary interact. Can I interact with this door? No. Oh, whoa. Uh, put away, please. I don't know what the hell that is. Sup, talk to Nays. I think the country voice suits this one, bro. Hello there, space cadet. Well, hello there, space cadet. Here you're living the crate set today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind me to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Okay. Where's the observatory? Let's ask that. It's questions like that and makes us worried about you going up into space on your own, you know? <laughs> the observatory is up the path behind a waterfall. There are a couple of signs marking the way, but really, you just keep going up and then hook a right. Okay. A couple of signs marking the way. Just keep going up and then hook a right when you get to the zero G cave. Alright, thank you. What is happening? Is there like a, an eclipse happening? Or is the sun just passing by? There's a moon up there as well. Shit. This... this this is beautiful. I think it's the music. The music is really doing it for me as well. Tefra, Galena. Hello, astronaut. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker. <laughs> we wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really, really delicate. And not supposed to be thrown around like that. <laughs> hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be let you be it. Sorry, continue, right? Without a single scope, please with a later, okay, sure. Nothing? Okay. Why am I getting a sneaking suspicion that, you know, we'll leave and then suddenly the planet will get blown up or something? You're fishing? Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme. Singing helps you pass the time. You're living the crater. I guess we'll all be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water planet shines deep. That's where I'd go. Hmm. Why is that? One time after the rest of the village had left to sleep, and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down, on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabra wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down. But suddenly, Gabra couldn't go any further. Okay. Tell me more. I will. I was just pausing dramatically. <laughs> As though exercising a will of his own, the water was refusing to let Gabra go any deeper. It held Gabra back. 
almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. Okay. And then in the terrible darkness, Gabro saw the tentacle of some hideous beast. Ah! <laughs> I mean, that's what Gabra said anyway, whatever it was. Free Gabra, they're pretty good. Everyone wants to hear her story, so la la Bring some back with you. Okay, 16 minutes. So, I'm not making that bad of a time. Whee! Whee! The water's a bit loud, if I'm gonna be honest. But, oh well. Ah, oh, we gotta find one. Ooh, what the fuck? Is that a fucking asteroid? Okay. We're in a pretty complex planetary system, it would seem. What the fuck? <laughs> um. Is that? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Was that hurting us just now? <laughs> Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence. Gusan said it used to be bigger when they were hatchling. Because ghost matter evaporates. This takes a su super long time to go away. I understood ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown up. Ghost matter is all your young. Okay, never mind them. <laughs> Ghost Matter is super cool, it'll burn the heck out of you. You shouldn't be throwing rocks in there, Ghost Matter is dangerous. Um, let's do that. How techy lost her foot. Whoa, really? That is so cool. Kids. So that's the observatory, but let's explore a bit more. Hi. Hey, I thought I might be seeing you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you. A little nervous, yeah. Good. Everyone should be a bit nervous going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. Okay, is that something that we could do? Put a new crater? Still, uh, I was never as green as you. Hey, I've gotten better. Think so, do you? Feel like driving into your old flight, coach? <laughs> There's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the Zero-G cave and in need of repairs. Are these actually things that we could do? I wonder. Um, broken mining equipment. Okay. We are looking for a little last-minute Zero-G practice. Head down the lift and into the cave, or domes, so long as you're confident you can make the ship repairs in space. Uh, one repair satellite coming up. Cool. Get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before it first launch. Will do. Let's go. Whee! Whoa. Okay. I wonder how we look. Uh, RS? Oh. Okay, cool. Flashlight. Interesting. We're le really learning about the mechanics here, aren't we? Whee! Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, this is zero G. Zero G cave. Oh, we need to suit up. Okay. That's the fuel, the oxygen, gravity is 0 0.3. Okay. We're back with the same controls. Whoa. Yo, what's up? Who might you be? Tough. Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. Give me the dirt. Getting some zero-g time in. So you're going in there, in the cave? Hmm. But no, I'm fine. Great, great, I'm fine. You don't look fine. Well, you know, I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. Well, gee. Okay. Phew, now I've got my hand sweats. Alright, then. Oh. Okay, so uh, so I need to go down. Okay, is there a way for me to do that without hurting hurting things? Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, 
Nothing to see here. I think. Is this, is this, if this is actually going to be the things that we do throughout the game, I am genuinely excited. <gasps> oh shit. Thrust down. Okay. Okay, flashlight is not doing anything. What? I can roll? Didn't notice that just now. What? Okay. <coughs> RS hole. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Uh uh What is this? Uh What's the button again? Oh shit. Can't see the button. Old repair. Okay. Cool. Okay. Which one is it? No, 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 no. How do I? Get yeah, us left stick, right? I'm holding the O X. Wrong button. Sorry. Okay. Careful now. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, what is the the ooh? What is the lock on button? Hang on. Okay. One of three is repaired. Ooh. Oop. Ah. Okay, this is gonna take some time of getting used to. Cool, that's two out of three. Okay. Hold. Cool. Alright. Okay. That's. Oh! Jesus Christ! How am I supposed to get out? I need my flashlight. This is really dark. Oh my god. Are we actually. Do we actually have to endure all this throughout the game? I am actually quite concerned. Uh, okay. Okay, fuck. Okay. Whew. Okay, I'm actually... My hands are sweating. Is this how you get out? It is. Okay, thank God. Oh, I need to return the suit. Is it here? I don't know. Let's we'll just go. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I can tell this is going to be very challenging. At least for the first few parts. So I do apologize if I'm not as smooth in doing it. Nicely done. I don't think it was nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling around s space. But just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I'll try. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there. And hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time into training you. Got it? Thanks. Whee. The music, man, I swear. It's really nice. Wait, oh, that's the observatory. Wow. Just wow. Love the art style. Love the details. Damn. Hmm. So is this us then? Are we... Do we look like that as well then? Hi. Hey, hey, he's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's a translator tools inaugural flight too. I'm so excited. It's making me nauseous, okay? Just think, you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want, anywhere you are. Two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Haha. <laughs> oh jeez, uh, do, do not break it. <laughs> Ugh, ignore me, okay? 
I'm just nervous and I'm not even going into space. How are you feeling? I'm terrified. Oh, don't let me make you nervous. You've been training for this day since we were hatchlings, remember? You'll do great, I promise. So, what's the dirt? You here to see the new Nomai statue? New statue? Just here for a launch code, so let's get it rolling. Yeah, I get that you're trying to head out into space, but seriously, you've got to see the statue before you go. Oh well, it's an amazing something. It makes me wish we could see that what a real life Nomai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out, looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found. Hmm, statue, huh? And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Is that our goal, trying to find a statue? Is it like our ancestor or something? Ah, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, do you have a ship to launch? Take care of yourself out there. Okay. Yeah, I don't trust this. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelt in our solar system thousands of years ago. Interesting. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note that the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where this species came from or what happened to them. Hmm. Is that what we're going to learn? I'm still wondering, like, what's the goal of our exploration, you know? Hang on, I'm a bit thirsty. A lot of talking. Yeah, there's been a lot of talking, so I am a bit parched. This piece of Nomai writing was essential in to deciphering their unique language. Oh, but the, the guy just now mentioned that we're gonna meet one of them. We might meet one of them. Although this tech is linear, Nomai tags often branches off from a central point. Just like the aliens at Arrival, right? The circle thing. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Okay, cool. Uh, RB. I'm still learning about the controls now. Casafa, we're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says collaborating the device won't take long. Oh. Fortunately, the Atler Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. Atler Rock? After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Okay. How about you, little guy? I think. Okay, there's only two things. Alright, we're learning about the mechanics, so that's cool. Cool. How about you? But you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possess antlers and, quite unusually, only three eyes. Okay. The Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, shows us that Harthians couldn't have descended from Nomayan ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from, or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Interesting. Why are we so fixated with Nomai? Hmm. Just because they're ex like an extinct species, civilization, and all that? The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to our outer wilds. Hey! Roll credits. Outer wilds ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost in instantly. Okay. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. Hmm. Right, so we can... Does that explain, like, our revival mechanism or something like that? So if we, if we are too lost, then we can just warp back to this planet? Interesting. A lot of details here. What is that weird-looking thing? This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was almost likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Oh, whoa. Oh, hey, we can see our hands. Hello. Your blue hands. Well, that's cool. Can we go all the way up? Whee. That's gonna come in handy, I imagine. What is this thing? 
This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Cool. Okay. Hmm. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse. Okay, 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 okay. I think we need to get a move on. Okay, coming soon. Hmm. Uh, so where do I get the launch coordinates? Okay, that's you again. Whee! The music clashes a bit just now. Sorry. <laughs> Not sure why. Damn. Okay. What the fuck? What is happening? <laughs> okay, we're in. We're on Timber Hearth. The Hourglass Twins. Brittle Hollow. Giant's Deep. Uh, Pan Few. And rotate zoom. Okay. So that's giant steep. There's a couple of um what is it? Debris? Not debris. I forgot the word. This is brittle hollow. Are these going to be the places that we could explore? That'll be interesting. Dark bramble. Huh. This is an odd looking planet. The branches grow all the way out beyond the atmosphere. Interesting. The Hourglass Twin. Ember Twin. Ash Twin. Hmm. I wonder if, like, the, um, the Ember Twin burned the Ash Twin or something. It's, like, really hot that it burned the other twin. That would be interesting. Hornfells. I need to drink again. There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomai translator tool. I confess I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Oh, I contributed. Okay. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? Um... I'm going to learn more about the Nomai. Let's, yeah, I think I'm curious about them. They're like the main mystery. I might have guessed as much. No sense in making a translator tool if you're not going to use it to translate anything. We've barely scratched the surface of the Nomai writing in our solar system, so we still know very little about them. We have no idea if they originated here or traveled here or why they disappeared. That tool of yours should prove indispensable in solving the mystery of this ancient species. Cool. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to die in space. <laughs> Let's get off this rock. We'll be getting the launch codes. Here they are, best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship. Good luck out there, let me know if I can help you with anything. Alright, I need to feed the cats real quickly, so be right back. Okay. Uh, I just had dinner as well. I fed the cats. Sorry about that. Um, but also there was like the Azan just now. It was pretty loud. So we're going to keep going. So we have the launch coach now. Um, hmm. This was really surprising. Like, let's, let's just click that again. Just real quickly. Like, is this where we're going? Are we going to go to all of these planets? Or even, like, even beyond? What the hell is this one? I have to zoom in again. This one. Whoa. What the hell is this? This red thing. Huh. Anyway. Alright. Got the launch codes. And now it's time to go. If I could just remember where to go. What the fuck are you anyway? That's a strange rock. The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. Conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play. But Gabriel claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever that means. 
<laughs> Exist in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of his debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. What rocks? I I don't see But what? It exists in all states, so it is, is in all three, and not at all, or something. I don't know. Whoa, whoa, um? Excuse me? Can I help you? Okay. Uh-huh. Can I move? What the fuck was that? Hello? Can I, <clears throat> can I react? Uh huh. Uh. Okay. We. All right. Launch tower. Hey, hey. So did you get a good look at that Nomai statue? The statue was glowing. Why was it glowing? Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So his eye opened and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights playing around. You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but you're sure you're going to launch, like, medically speaking. Um, no, the statue is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, and then I guess maybe you could try. Hornfellas tried everything to get a statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. <clears throat> I think you were going to get an answer from a museum statue, but Gabriel said they were going back to the giant steep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Okay. <clears throat> so we need to go to giant steep? Is that our first objective, then? Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabriel's, you know, Gabriel. You see the philosophical one, just I'm really bad at names. So maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Geez, now I'm really jealous you're going to space. Hey, see if you can use your translator tool to find out more of the statue. Okay, good luck and safe flying. Thank you. <clears throat> I also lowered the quality just a bit. Like, all the settings that are at very high, I lowered it to high. Aww. This music is giving me Last of Us vibes. I don't know. Which, you know, we'll be playing in a couple of months from now, after I'm done with this series. Hello. Tefra. Hola. Hello. Are you going to space today? Are you going to space and never coming back with a false party? Um, excuse me? Don't worry, I'll come back. But they never did. Hornfalls will be really sad if you don't come back. Like how sad it makes them to talk about Felspar. So you should make sure you don't get lost in space too. See what I can do, kid. <clears throat> Especially with such a wholesome song like this. Whee! Whee! And we're back! Hey, that's a neat little trick. Neat little level design. Yo. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of a launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on a new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Okay. Uh, sorry. Enter launch codes. Here we go to space. Whoa. Okay. Is that another spaceship over there just now? Like over there? Yeah, I'm just taking screenshots real quickly. Huh. Cool, cool place. So it's Timber Earth or something like that. That's what it's called. That's the crystal... Ship log. Timber hearth. Sorry. Ember twin. The atoll rock. The hollow giant's deep. Few entries. Alice says Gabriel went back to the giant's deep to try to learn more about the Mamai statue. Mm hmm. 
Okay. <clears throat> so that's the suit. Do I just, you know, fly? Buckle up. Okay, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Crossing my fingers now. Um, landing camera? Oh. Okay. Okay. It, it For a moment there, I thought I was using a keyboard. Right, that was weird. Okay, so... Lifts off is right trigger. Just make sure that I'm getting it right. Let's go! Okay, okay, okay. Well, what is the signal scope? What is happening? Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 okay. Uh, okay. What am I doing? Holy shit. Whoa. That's Astrin. Why are we burning? Is it because of the... Okay, let's go here. I think this is where we're supposed to go, right? Let's go. Well, wrong button. Wait. The fuck? Wait, what, what? Where did the giant's deep go? I was following it literally seconds ago. What the fuck? Oh, there you are. Hi. Sorry. Hey, hey. Are we following the signal or something? Oh wait, wrong button. Uh. Uh huh. Accelerating towards destination. Okay. Okay, we're getting closer. Retro rockets. I'm just gonna leave it to the autopilot. This is very anxiety inducing. Landing mode. Whoa. Oh my god, this is so cool. This is so cool. <laughs> Okay. Uh huh. Right, right, right. Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. Slowly now. Yeah. Oh shit. Landing mode. Ah! How do I leave? I've landed. What do I do? <laughs> okay, unbuckle. Do I just get out? How do I get out? Where's the door? Health and fuel full. Where's the door? Open hatch. There we go. Hey. Oh, this is Gabro. All right. Hello. Nice. 
This is you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. What the fuck is that? Is that an island? Okay. The first holo launch is a doozy, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Very anxiety inducing, yep. So hey, don't laugh, but I think I might have had some kind of spiritual experience with a rock shape like a face. Me. What? One of the islands on Giant Steep has a Nomai statue on the beach. Ever seen one? I brought one back to Timber Heart with me. Big stone sculpture on his head. Drains and everything, la la la. So one minute I'm standing on an island, looking at a Nomai sculpture on the beach, and the next thing I know is looking back at me glowing. Okay. Happened to us as well. The sculpture replaced everything I've just done, like it's been watching me through my own eyes. That happened to me at the observatory. Right. You too, huh? It didn't seem bad, just weird. Are we the only ones who saw that happen? I tried radioing Hornfells and asking them about it, but they told me I must have just nodded off out here and gone confused. Then we talked about dreams to Hornfells, told me to go, what's with the winds? What? Oh, what, 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 what happened? Oh, no, 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 no. What just happened? Uh, could you... <laughs> If you stared away the cycle for so long, it started to hypnotize you. I'm telling you, they'll pull you into a trance you stared in long enough. How's space treating you? Where should I explore in Giant's Deep? What is it with this planet? Aha, I know, right? Not funny. Oh, you meant like, tell you more about it? I gotcha. Well, Giant's Deep is a massive and mostly water. No surprises there. There's a strong current always beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously, I tried everything. As for land masses, I've counted four islands, including this one, there's only the one with my statue. You've seen the cyclones? Yeah, they're hard to miss. They'll toss up everything in their path. Islands included, little tip. If you get picked out, try to land in water. Less likely to kill you. Okay. Uh, where's your ship? That's a good question! <laughs> oh no. It's definitely on this planet somewhere. I mean, unless the cyclone came by and tossed it into space, I guess. Hey, That'll be pretty nuts. I hope it's not lonely. Are you lonely? Are you okay? So those are cyclones. Interesting. Okay, so the statue, I guess that's something that we need to do. My god, the controls. Um, signal scope. That's him. Okay. Return suit. Cool. Buckle up. Um, lift off. All right, let's go. Okay, that might be a bit of an issue. <laughs> Alright, let's try to find other land masses, shall we? Ah! Oh shit. It's damaged. Oh no. There you go. Okay. Uh, unbuckle. What is this? How do I... I didn't say that I want to get in. Hold repair. <clears throat> okay, landing camera fixed as well. What is this? No. What the hell is this place? Okay, let's go down. Is it okay that I'm not using my suit? Will that affect things? Hello? So, cyclones... Interesting... 
Huh? Okay, a bit laggy there just now. Is this like a ship? Put away... How about the translator thing? Hmm. Interesting. Oh! Oh no. Oh no. Hmm. Okay. We're good. Okay, this is very trippy. I don't have my suit on. Are we gonna die? Hello? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get my suit real quickly. <laughs> so I guess those are safe places or something. Kinda magnetize you so it stays there. Let me grab my suit. Hmm. Ah, the signal scope is on the suit. Right, I need this. Alright, so... Signal scope. Nope, not this one. Scout launcher. There's a photo mode? Interesting. Okay. Take snapshot. Interesting. Okay. I thought this is the translator thing. How do we translate again? So I got tools as well. No? Okay. That suggests me that we're gonna get more tools. I don't know. Oh. No. Signal scope. Nothing. Okay. Let's keep going, I suppose. <gasps> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Okay, that's very trippy. Uh. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Whoa, okay, this is very trippy. I hope this will keep me here. What is that? That's so cool. Oh shit. Okay, let's stay on this platform for now. Let's just hope the cyclone doesn't hit anytime soon. Uh, take snapshot. Wait, RB? Interesting. What's up here? Can we go all the way up? Uh, okay, I'm getting motion sickness. <laughs> Whee! Okay. I think this is a new place. I don't think we, we were here just now. RB. Long range probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon. Sounds very sexual. <laughs> Hello? Okay. Luckily, this cyclone is taking its time right now, so that's nice. Hmm. It does look like a ship, though. Okay, let's go back there, I guess.
Let's ask this to that guy again. The garble. Trees detected. Oh! Interesting. So it automatically refills our oxygen. Cool feature. Oh wait, he's not on this island, isn't he? Fuck. Okay. I'm gonna try to go down. See if that works. Okay. Oh no, I think a cycle is about to happen. Yep. Good thing we're on this thing. It will be fine. Whoa. Holy moly. The fuck? <laughs> Can I go down? Is it possible to go down from here? Oh, I think that's the current preventing me from going down. Okay, let me get up. Holy shit, where are we? Ah! We need to go back. Save me! Save me! Pull me, pull me, pull me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Pull me, pull me, pull me. God damn it, there you go. Oof. Oh, okay. Alright, that's pretty anxiety inducing. I'm just gonna go now. Thank you. Uh, how do I. Oh. No! Ah! Oh shit. Go on. Oh shit. Alright, alright, alright. Let's do it properly. Let's do it properly. Go on. Holy fuck, dude. This is really cool. Alright, so I guess that's one goal that we could do. Alright, hang on. We need to grab our own. Grab hold. That's the... What the... Oh, it's night. Night time. What is happening? Yeah, okay. Reliving the things that we've done. All of the pointless meandering. What is happening? No fucking way. <laughs> no way. I'm gonna roast some marshmallows, dude. So, uh... That happened. Um... That, that thing is burned, so throw it away. Um, eat? You eat burnt marshmallows? What are you, fucking degenerate? Jesus. Okay. I think I'm gonna end it there. Are we in a time loop? Is this another time loop game, really? I've just finished 12 minutes. Is now is this gonna be another time loop game? Wow. So, uh, what do we do in this game? In this video? We, uh, we're an astronaut, apparently. And we are Harthians? 
That's our species. We love marshmallows. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we, uh, thank you for the music, finally. We, we are learning about the Nomai, which is like a previous species that used to dwell ex this solar system. And apparently there are some weird stuff going on, specifically that, um, well, it seems that our technology is derived from the previous civilization as well. And we're trying to solve the mystery as to what happened to them. So far, what we know is that if we look at the complete version of their statue, it, it would, you know, suddenly we get a flashback on the things that we've done. That's what we've known so far. And from there, we decided to go to Giant's Deep, where one of the more eccentric um, comrade that we know, Go far, I think that's Go 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 Gothorn, whatever his name is, whatever their name is. Um, and apparently, they also experience the same thing. And that plan is really cool. The fact that um, there are like tons of cyclones, and that it continuously changes, and there are like tons of tons of mysteries there. Specifically, that you can't go deeper into the ocean because there's a current that's preventing you from doing so. And all of a sudden, we get transported back here. I have no idea what's going on. It's so weird. But it's really cool. I'm looking forward to keep playing. But yeah, I'm sold. I'm sold with the idea of this game. The controls are still a bit wonky for me. Maybe because it's still new. I'm still learning. Um, but then again, well, I guess it's quite representative of what it's like to be an astronaut. Trying to control yourself in zero gravity is not exactly an easy thing. I do wonder if the autopilot on the ship is a new thing, is a newly added thing, because people maybe struggle to actually navigate uh, throughout the solar system. That would be interesting to know. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think so far. This is actually really interesting. Like and subscribe and all that. I'm going to keep recording. Maybe I'll take a short break. My throat is really hurting. I don't know why. But um, yeah, I'm loving this game. Can't wait to see where this is taking me. So, yeah. See you guys on the next one, okay? Bye-bye.